Good morning, Bully High. Ariana Garvin here to talk to you about one of the livest weeks in Bulldog history, Spirit Week, where students and staff get to showcase how much Bully High pride they really have. Let's go check it out. This is no ordinary week, so as you can see, there are no ordinary days. To kick off the week, we have Marble Monday, Tropical Tuesday, Class Color Wednesday, Think Pink Thursday, and Flawless Friday. But of course, who could forget Class Night? Freshmen and sophomores, juniors and seniors went head to head to prove who was a better class. In the end, Blue Squad proved to be superior. But who could forget amazing performances by Exclusive Step Team, Dynamic Diamond Dance Team, and Men of Distinction, and many other acts. But let's fast forward to Saturday. ROTC, Trium Honor Society, and many other clubs and organizations were up bright and early Saturday, October 25th to march in Bowie High's annual homecoming parade. Video. Classes even decorated trucks just for the occasion. And they were off in their buggies and lines, ready to wake up Bel Air Drive. And wake up Bel Air they did with music, chants, and candy. During the march, we talked to Tidwell, who celebrates his 21st homecoming here at Blue High. Good morning, beautiful morning for it. And uh, we're gonna, I, I want Bowie to win this game tonight. Everyone seemed pretty excited about the events. So we talked to Dr. Bay after the parade to see how she felt about the festivities. Oh, we're so excited about today's festivities for homecoming. It's a beautiful day. We just had a great parade and we're anticipating kicking Parkdale's butt at the football game. Instead of a pep rally before the game, exec board introduced tailgating. We talked to Brooke Sullivan about the turnout. As we just got everyone out here, you know, SGA kind of pulled together this new event that we hadn't had and I think it went pretty well for the first time. Then at 2 p.m., Bulldogs and Panthers hit the field with Bulldogs starting off strong. The cheerleaders graced us with the halftime show. And by the end of the game, Dr. Bay and Tidwell's prayers were answered. Bowie defeated Parkdale 26 to nothing. After the game, everyone headed home to get ready for the final event, the dance. And through the night, students danced. Court was crowned, and everybody had a great time. Well, Bulldogs, looks like this report's a wrap. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. One big event down, only two more to go, seniors. Juniors, be on the lookout, because you're next. I hear Disney. Back to you guys at the desk.